Bonjour, Cheeky Tam here, and what? Oh, Cheeky Tam, why am I speaking weird? It's just Cheeky Tam, it's not Cheeky Tam. Bonjour, Cheeky Tam here, and welcome to another taste test. A friend of mine went over to France a while ago, and I gave her some money to go and grab me some French stuff, so I don't know if this stuff is popular or not. Usually when you think of French food, you think of fromage and champagne, but what kind of a taste test? Actually, it'd be a good taste test for me. <laughs> that wouldn't be a taste test, that'd just be a video of me having fun. I've got three different biscuits to try. St. Michael Galette, they're Tout au beurre. Tout au beurre. The cover doesn't give a lot away. It's got a chicken on it. That doesn't tell me anything. Oh, it's got cardboard in there. Pull them out so easily like this. Hello. Bonjour. There's some French biscuits for you. Quite an intricate design on it. And that kind of looks like an old-fashioned coin that I've gotten out of the sea. I can't actually see what that is. It kind of looks like people wrestling or making film or... I don't know what they're doing. Oh, tastes a little bit milky. I do like the flavor of it. So it is just a vanilla cookie, but it sort of has like a milky taste to it. And like the top of it seems to be glazed. They're really simple, but they're delicious. Milka Choco Supreme. I don't think these are French, but I could be wrong. I don't know why she got me these, but maybe they're made in France. I don't know. There's six of them in a pack. They're Milka. I've had Milka chocolate before and I do love it. It's got some writing on the back here and it actually says French there, but it also says the Netherlands. And now I really just don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wow. I was expecting to just see them straight away, but the fact that I couldn't kind of makes them like playing a little bit hard to get. And I like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. Oh, yum. I have never seen these before. That's delicious. It's got chocolate on the outside. It's got a couple of layers of wafer in there and also like a chocolate cream filling in the middle. Really delicious. It's quite rich though, so you could only probably have one at a time. And then you like leave it an hour and then you go back for another one. Let me know in the comments below if you get these in your country. Milk and nut. They've got English on the front of it, but they're made by Garito and uh, Un Question. What? Composition. Bonbons de chocolat ou latte. Ooh, oh gosh, I'm speaking French. Oh, oh. oh, they look quite pretty, don't they? Oh, it's like a little Easter egg. Mmm. The chocolate on it is really quite nice and smooth. This reminds me of a Kinder chocolate. And the inside of it is like a milky, sort of creamy, nutty filling, which is also very kinderish. They are really delicious. I love these. They actually do look like the cover. I love it when things actually look like what's in the packaging. It's not just pretending. It's a beautiful, creamy hazelnut filling in the middle there. The chocolate is really smooth and creamy. These are delicious. Samia, on the back of this, it actually has a whole lot of other things they make, which look quite delicious. I like the look of that thing. It kind of looks like a watermelon. I want that. I like the packaging, it's really quite pretty, but they've also got like a little bit of a modern twist with this character here. Whew. Well, that doesn't really help. You can see them through there. Why am I showing you? But I'll give you a closer look at them. There you go. Ooh, really? What's interesting about this is the top of it feels a little bit harder than the rest of it. The bottom part here is squishy and jelly-like, and so it's sprinkled with sugar on the outside. Oh yeah. Wow, that's just like a punch of sugar. They've got like a berry sort of a taste to it and on the top here, it kind of tastes yogurt-ish. I found the combinations of flavor quite nice in this one. I do like that sort of underlying yogurty sort of taste to it. It's a very delicious candy. I don't know if I'd go back for another packet though because they are so sweet. Mini BN, uh, they're obviously strawberry flavored. And on the back of it, it's got like a spot the difference thing. I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. I wonder if anyone's actually going to solve that. Les différences, observe bien les douces images et tout. Can't get that one. Les qui différence. Que je... <laughs> what am I saying? De tweet, tic, and gin, en vin de vlep. 
Bastion. This comes also in a chocolate flavour. Oh, they come in little two packs. That's cool. Oh, she knows. There's more. There's five of them in there. What an odd number. Oh, that is so cute. Kids would absolutely love these. It's actually even got a little BN on the back of it. Oh. Mmm, it's a vanilla cookie and it's got a straight jam filling in the middle of it. There's nothing else in it. It's just fairly simple and plain, but kids would absolutely love these, especially if they get five of them. Surely you wouldn't just give that to a child. That wouldn't be one serving, would it? Next up I have these and they kind of look like they're a little bit of a specialty tourist thing. It looks like it's not an everyday product. How beautiful is this little container? Is it cardboard or bamboo? <gasps> oh, oh. These are caramels, but they're like salted butter caramels. Get out. I feel like I'm going to love these. There's a little guy there scraping up the salt so we can eat these. Oh, okay, yeah. How many little tiny bits of cellophane stuff? I don't even know if that's seven in French. It's a very soft caramel. It's not as spectacular tasting as I thought it was going to be. I can't taste a lot of the salt in it. I mean, I know you're not supposed to really taste the salt much in it, but I just like that little hint more of salt in these ones. Very soft, very easy to eat. They're nice. I definitely eat the rest of them. And this would make a great little present if you're going over to France and you want to bring back something for someone. I wonder if I'll ever get to France. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.